Yo, what is up? Jay himself here, bringing you something a little different. It's been a little bit since I've posted a game battles match, and uh, it was a random teams match, and I got the Bills, and my opponent has the Cowboys. And this is actually the only second game battles match I've played on uh, 360 for Xbox One. And yeah, it's a pretty good game. Um, if you don't like coverage defense, you might want to go away. If you don't like me abusing a single play a lot, you might want to be gone again. But if you want to see a good game, this is a good game. I'll get into gameplay in a minute. But um, I'm thinking about doing a bunch of giveaways for my Madden Ultimate team. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of nice players. I got a bunch of 99 players, mainly all, all red skin players. I'm a woo. I, it's summer. Madden season. I mean, the fact that I'm I'm still even playing that blows my mind. It blows my mind. I'm um, usually I'm trying to think. Madden 13, I quit playing it in probably January. This one, I don't know. I got into Ultimate Team because of Sean Taylor this year, and then that kind of got me in <laughs> to keep playing this game until it's June. It's June 5th. I've never played a Madden this late in the year, all because of Ultimate Team. But we're yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm pretty much done. So my giveaway team, if anybody has any ideas for, okay, how I gave away the uh, Sparkle Patrick Willis, I gave it to a, uh, whoever had the my funniest comment that I liked on the video, got it. And <laughs> whoever, someone made a Shocker 360 reference, and I gave it away. I don't know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll figure something out. If anybody has any ideas on how to pick somebody, yeah, if you're watching this in Ultimate Team, I don't know. If you're new here, subscribe, hit like. Now he's into the game. Look at this. Des Bryant just teabagged me. Oh my goodness. So it just it ties the game right there. Like I was thinking after that first drive, I was like, alright, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna blow this guy out. Was not the case. And I when I got the Bills as the team, I was like, alright, I got a speed back. I think I should use the Carolina playbook. But I my passing game, I'm mentally like handicapped when it comes to passing out of the Carolina playbook. There's just I don't, there's nothing that fits when I want to play. I should have I should have used Philadelphia, but I wanted to use. I knew there's a the uh, Buck sweep is a good play for speed backs, but Bills I don't know they don't have the offensive lineman or something. Cause I, cause this guy's defense was not good. If you, if you notice, I am running off tackle and strong close over and over and over. He's in the fort. He's. I think he's like in a. I don't know. I just. I didn't respect the defense. He was running to stop that play. So I just kept it. Because I've never really used. I've never even like abused off tackle or ran it too much when I'm in Carolina playbook. Usually I'm in shotgun set. And I don't know. This game. It's weird. And then there. I don't know what happened. My guy didn't react. I should have turned into him. So we're even 14-7. We're getting to the end of the half here, and we got a second and seven. And Tony Romo, as you see. Um, see, this is my defense I run an ultimate team and it's great I don't know if I I've been running this defense all year like all year and the reason I started running it is because on 360 the QB wrap and read option was so hard to like, you, and it's obviously in passing formations and when you run it um, this is a, like you could play a coverage defense and still slow down the QB wrap and the uh, read option so and then I don't know I tried running Nickel Strong, Big Nickel, Bear, all four six, all that different stuff. But I feel like everybody else who's good all runs that defense. So like, if I play some, like I like to try to run stuff that's a little out of the norm, so they don't exactly know what they're dealing with. Because if you guys have seen my videos in the past, I like running uh, a legendary playbook. I kind of figured no one's, nobody really runs into people. Because I mean, if you when people, this, especially this late in the year, if you see a certain formation, you know. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Like this late in the year, if you see a formation, you have an idea what's coming. So I like to be a little different. So we're down 17-14. And we're, we're just running off tackle. What did they do? I had a turnover on downs in my possession before this. And I was trying to switch it up. And he was playing he's playing he's just playing on cover two man max defense. Like when I was in those passive formations. So I'm sorry, run the ball. And I've, like, I've been getting, you know, for the most part, three to five yards every off tackle. And you know what? I'm just going to take that. And I'm thinking, you know, he's going to 
you would think he would run commit because I would I would start passing out of this formation like I did one play. You think that would uh he, he might run commit because I mean his, he, he's not he doesn't have a run defense. He's like I just gotta hope maybe he's going for the fumble. I don't know if the Cowboys have any big hitters. Maybe he's going for a fumble. I don't know. What? Spin a Rooney. Here we're running off tackle again. And then right here I'm like all right get to the three yard line. We got this. It's a good block shed right there. I'm in trouble. So at this point, I'm like, all right. Chances are I'm running off tackle, right? I've already ran it like, what, 20-something times? <laughs> and we're up 21-17. He has a ball. You know, we're thinking, let's get a stop, baby. Let's get a stop. Here he's in a, he's in a single back bunch, and I didn't get a spy set up. I, I switched Mario Williams to my... Uh, a guy getting off the block shed, and he did an all right job, but he, he realized that he needed to roll to the right. And then there, I went for the tip, and I didn't get the tip ball animation. What in the world is that? And here's running the ball. This was a uh, big tackle. That was a big tackle. Now he's running, looks like a, a sweep for base. We got second and six. He's rolling to the outside, tries to take off, and he gets about a yard. There he runs the ball, and... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he catches it, oh we hold him at the one yard line, let's fucking go. <laughs> CJ Spiller giving me a little room to play with, I'm, see I'm still surprised he didn't run commit. And we're going to get a little a little epic music going here for you, because it's, it's a, I make a bonehead play to run out the time. And it happened. And it, like I haven't, I I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, this what? Uh, let's see what happens. So we got first and ten. Gets a good block shed. Blows me up in the backfield. And here it is. We run the buck sweep, and for some reason, I run out of bounds. Oh my goodness! Here I run a speed option. He blows it up, and we're just like, all right. If I wouldn't have ran out of bounds, he'd have 15 seconds. Said he has 15. We're showing the adjustments. This is my max coverage fag D one man nano blitz. Giving you guys an idea of it. Rolling to the outside. Rolling. Rolling. Oh, you can and we get the shark you can interception. Oh. And that, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you have an idea for. Hey, uh, how to do giveaways. I don't know what player to give away. I got some good players. Uh, just look at past video. I don't know, I'll do figure out today or tomorrow or some shit. Our play of the game. <laughs> uh, anyways, like, subscribe, play a Cadiz Bras. Love you all.